How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today I have got is another player review and in today's review we're going to be having a look at Marek Hamsik. Now this was a player that I really liked in FIFA 17 and he's had a pretty decent upgrade in FIFA 18 and, uh, and I was looking forward to trying out his card. So just before we get into things guys, if you could drop a like on the video that would be greatly appreciated. Also do remember to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here as well. There will be plenty more reviews out in the future. So yeah starting off we'll have a look at Hamsik's stats on his card. Now first he's got 74 pace which isn't really the greatest, it's not slow, but it's not like it's not really that quick. But uh, well, well, I was playing him as a centre attacking midfielder because I wanted him to get him some more clips and more shots, see what he can do. So 74 pace, not bad, but he's not like quick or anything. So he's got 84 dribbling as well, very, very decent that is. 80 shooting, you'll be able to see his shooting in-game is incredible, you'll be able to see later on in the clips. 68 defending, so you can definitely play him as a centre mid, I was obviously playing him as a cam, but you can also play him as a centre mid, like 68 defending. You can definitely still defend with the player, and even if you wanted to get like you can even give him an extra boost in his defending stats, putting in like a put, maybe putting a shadow card and maybe an anchor card, something like that would make him a lot better defensively. Also, he's got 84 passing as well, very very decent stat as well there, and 70 physical as well, so pretty solid stats all around. So yeah, also Hamzik is six foot tall as well, so that's not too bad. He's pretty decent height to be honest, so he can be winning headers as well, which is very very good. High medium wear rates, which in my opinion is very very decent wear rates. Uh, if you're even going to play him as a cam or a centre mid, he's got great wear rates for both in my opinion. I think as a centre mid, uh, to high medium is very, very decent. Maybe high high is better, but high medium is still very, very decent in my opinion. Also, he has got a 5-star weak foot, which is a huge positive. He can go on either side and he's equal on both feet, which is just it, it's just insane. 5-star like, weak foot is probably my favourite thing on FIFA 18 players that have a 5-star weak foot. He's only got 3-star skill moves. Would be a lot better if he had 4, but not going to lie, I'm not really a skill skiller myself. So... We'll get on to the stats that I got with Hamsik now. He played four games for me. I normally do play five games of the players that I review, but um, Hamsik got so many clips for me, so I just had to pretty much just leave it at four, uh, four games. He scored eight goals for me and got three assists, so what a return from a guy playing in camp. Three of these games as well were in foot champions, and one of them was in online seasons. So um, we'll go on to Ham uh, Hamsik's in-game stats now, and as you can see, he's got some very, very decent stats. We'll start off uh, looking at his pace. 72 acceleration is pretty slow to be honest, not great. 75 sprint speed, not really the fastest player. His shooting stats are very, very decent. Like All of them are looking uh, very good in the high 70s apart from his penalties. And um, he's got 83 long shots. You'll be able to see in the clips, his long shots is insane. I, can't, I actually can't believe how, how good his long shots was when I was trying them out. He's got uh, very decent passing stats, like 88 short passing. Very good ball control reactions there. 88 reactions, 87 ball control, 86 dribbling. Got some insane stats in his dribbling. And he is, he is not really the strongest player as well, only 69 strength. Not He's not exactly weak, but again, he's not really the strongest player ever. Anyway, guys, now I've got all that. I did forget again. I forgot to mention Hamsik's price. He is uh, 55,000 coins. You'll be able to pick him up for around 55 to 60,000 coins. So pretty expensive, but I mean, you're going to be paying this much for a player that's this high quality. 87 rated. Could you imagine if he was in the Premier League? He'd be worth so much more. In my opinion, anyway, he'd be worth a lot more. So... I think that's a pretty decent price tag to be paying, to be honest, because he's 87 rated. But one of well, one of the better centre mids in the Calcio A, maybe even the best, I'm really not sure on that, maybe 9 goals better. But he's, he's definitely up there with the best. Anyway guys, we'll get into the clips now that I got with Hamsik. Okay then guys, so we're now into all the clips that I got with Hamsik. All the goals, all the assists, and all the good moments and the bad moments as well. So um, we'll start off with the positives of Hamsik, then we'll go on to the negatives, and then I'll give um, him an overall rating out of 10. So we'll start off with the positives. The first positive to me would have to be his long shots. Now, it's more towards the end of the clips, that are, it's kind of the last game, where I tested Hamsik's long shots and they were absolutely insane. He scored two amazing goals from outside the box. So his long shots are absolutely amazing. He's got like 83 long shots, I think it was, in his stat, which is not fantastic. Like, it's not like in the 90s or anything, but it's, it's still very, very decent. So his long shots is um, it's just amazing. I can't believe how good they were. So... If you, do, if you do buy yourself Hamsik, I'd definitely recommend if you do get half a chance of hitting it from outside the box, I would 100% uh, recommend it because he's got, he's got a decent chance of going in. And then that'll go on to the next thing. It kind of it kind of just leads on to that. Right? His overall shot is just amazing. Like He's like 78 finishing, but his finishing seems to be amazing. He did obviously miss a few chances for me, but some of them, he's literally like taking the net off with his, with his like powerful strikes. It's unbelievable. I can't believe how good his shooting actually was. I was very surprised at that. So... Definitely his shooting overall, especially his long shots, is a huge positive. Only 80 shooting on his card as well, but it just seems to be so much better. And uh, yeah, then we'll go on to another positive now. It's got to be his dribbling. His dribbling is amazing, 
especially towards the end of the clips as well. He starts coming into his own at the end of the clips. He was definitely the best player in the last game by an absolute mile. So, uh, yeah, his dribbling is absolutely amazing. He, he can dribble past players so easily. He's not the fastest player as well. He's just got very close control, and he can, he can, he can literally just get past any player, really. So, obviously, you know, if he's running in behind... He's not going to be the fastest player, to be honest. So it's more when he's, you know, he's got the ball in a tight space. He can dribble out. He can dribble out of tif difficult situations, which a lot of players struggle. And that's, you know, that's what that's what pretty much makes him much better than the average player. You know, 87 rated. You're going to be expecting well, when you're paying that much money, 55 to 60k. You're going to be expecting big things. You're going to be expecting him to do stuff much better than an average player. So his long shots and his dribbling is huge positives. Also his passing as well. Obviously, I'm playing him as a cam, so he's going to be springing a lot of passes around. Also, playing him as a, also you could play him as a centre mid, play a few more long balls over top chip through balls. Not gonna lie, I didn't really test out the chip through balls too much to be honest. So um, I don't I don't really know too much of that. I don't really do chip through balls at all to be honest in FIFA. So I'm um, not really tested out his long passing in that, but I, I'd imagine it'll be very good judging by all his other all his other stats and all the other, all his other qualities. Their long passing will definitely fall into them and in, fall into them qualities anyway. And if we're going to go on to any negatives about Hamsik, I really don't know what I can give him as a negative, to be honest. So, like, I, 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 I'm really I'm really not sure, because he's so good at dribbling, he's so good at passing. Maybe he is a bit weak, that could be one of his negatives, but, you know, he's, he's, he's not really going to have everything in the, in his locker. So, he's not really the strongest player, but, you know, you can't really, you can't expect absolutely everything from him. He is 55,000 coins, and, in my opinion, for 55,000, you're getting a very, very decent return out of him. Maybe my favourite cam I've used in FIFA 18 probably is, to be honest. He's definitely the most expensive player I've used, so he probably is my favourite. He might even be my favourite player on FIFA 18. I've, I've absolutely loved using him, and I would thoroughly recommend him to you guys. So if I was to rate Hamstick out of 10, I've got to give him a, I've got to give him a 9.5 out of 10. If he had amazing strength as well, I would 100% give him a 10 out of 10. But 100% guys, I would recommend him. Got some insane shooting, great passing, great dribbling, pretty much everything you need. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new on here. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one.